this is Scrooge, and if it's anything like the last Christmas movie I watched, which was Gremlins, then it's going to be it's going to be just best Christmas movie ever again. I don't think it will be because Gremlins was like up there, way, way, way up there. And I think Scrooge is maybe going to be like, we'll, we'll say if Gremlins is here, Scrooge is probably going to be maybe like way down there. No, it, it's, I'm guessing it's not going to be that bad because it has been recommended. So we are just going to see. And if we know who Scrooge is, I know who Scrooge is, and I assume you know who Scrooge is, and we know who Bill Murray is. Bill Murray? Is it Bill Murray? It's Bill Murray. We know who he is. And so I'm assuming that it is some kind of... He's a Scrooge, or he helps someone that's a Scrooge, is what I'm going with. It's going to be a funny movie because it's Bill Murray. Every time I say Bill Murray, I feel like I'm saying it wrong, that that's not his name, but I'm pretty sure it is. If you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning to see you haven't already, then please subscribe. Also, check out Patreon, do all the fun things to make the channel grow, and I will love you forever. Big fat shout out to our top tier patrons, Adamantis, John Exler, Brian Medden, Dark Calico, Jack Stewart Hutton, Mike Filepi, Len Anaquad, Eric Twice, Wayne Kryka, Robert Inman, Celeste McAllister, Rob Jones, Ragnar Mersh, Alonso Torres, Bill Bryant, Chase Bauer, A Thousandth Ghost, Roger Freeman, Lee Pittman and Eric Bonham. I hope you've had a very, very Merry Christmas and we're ready to watch Scrooged and play. Ooh. I love Christmas villages. I think I just saw the Grinch. Oh, this is like a proper Christmas movie and I didn't think it would be. Santa Claus, come quick, look! Incoming! What? What? Oh God, it's gonna be Bill Murray attacking. Huh. What? what? It's Lee Majors! Who? couldn't afford it if anything happened to you. Now you stay put. It's very true. Don't let Santa die. Real good boy this year. <laughs> yes, you sure have. <laughs> <laughs> the night the reindeer die. Oh, oh. I th I was getting into that. I thought <laughs> this was a movie we were watching. God damn it. I was excited for it. I know your father is out chasing beaver. Father loves beaver. What kind of beaver? Because I know a couple kinds of beaver. There he is! I thought you were going to have one of the machine guns. I thought you were going to kill Santa. Bah. Scrooge, Humbug. it will touch your every heartstring. You'll love it. <laughs> I didn't love it. Oh my gosh. Does that suck? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. I could do better than that. Let me in there. Now... I have to kill all of you. Yay! I mean, uh, why? <laughs> why do you have to kill them all? Get that machine gun out. Here's the kind of thing <laughs> I would have done. Oh, let me see it. You went from one extreme to the other. That's not the way I would have went. What exactly does that air? have to do with Scrooge? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it doesn't need to. Well, it's not, it's not that bad. It's just lose, like, um, part with the gun and the blood. All right. And the no, the whole thing. The whole thing's out of order. We don't want to scare the dickens out of people. <laughs> I got that. The dickens out of people. Nobody gets me. I got it. Call security. Have them change his locks, clean out his desk, and toss him out of the building. Oh, he's fired? What? Why? It's Christmas. Thank you. Call accounting. Stop his bonus. Ah, oh, no. Don't. He's the Scrooge. Hi, honey. Um, we have to move to oh a studio God, apartment. Oh, my God. I feel I so bad. That poor wee man. Your brother. Towel. Your only brother. I can't believe you give people a single towel. That would be the worst gift. Especially if the colour didn't match your other towels. If you can't work late, I can't work late. If I can't work late... I can't, can't work, work late. late. <laughs> what an ass. I think they nail people too. 
I'm I'm just slightly confused by this movie. Just slightly. We're not very yet. Uh oh. I think you dropped something. Hey. Jeez. Okay, it's more than an ass. I really liked him. Oh, he's gonna. <gasps> this is going to be. Wait. Either. Wait. Hold on, hold on. I need to figure this out. $200 I don't have to tell me that you don't speak. He doesn't speak. What's well, your money? You're going to surprise a lot of people. I think this is going to be like a Christmas Carol parody. And so that that's, that's, um, what the hell's his name again? The guy that works for him. And then the little boy's going to be Tiny Tim. And he's... Um, Ebenezer Scrooge making everyone work late on Christmas because his brother is going to be like the nephew. This office is closed. I told you. Here comes the first ghost. <laughs> Which is the two dead guys. Or the one dead guy. I don't mind you hitting me, Frank, but take it easy on the Bacardi. Bacardi? Who drinks Bacardi? Oh, it's a mouse in his head. Oh, for God's sake. Did you die? Oh, I can't. Oh, that's gross as hell. Did you die because a golf ball hit you in the head and went through your head? <laughs> Lou Hayward, your old boss. But you're dead. And he's still dead. One minute. I'm on the 14th hole. Oh God, here we go, let's hear it. A heart attack later, I'm a worm feast. Oh, heart attack, I thought a golf ball went through your head. Hallucination <laughs> brought on by alcohol, Russian vodka poisoned by Chernobyl. It would be more like stress that brought it on. Silence! I had it all. Ooh. <laughs> Adored by women. <laughs> Adored. You paid for the women. Oh God. I want to know what you look like alive. You are going to be visited by three ghosts. <laughs> wow. Oh no, oh no, please don't think I'm a suicide. What? Oh my God. Oh, that's gross. That looked like a chicken. He's gonna be fine. He'll wake up, he's looking at his arm. He'll look up in his bed and he'll think it was all a dream. Huh? Hi, this is Claire Phillips. I'm not here as usual. Who's Claire? I know it's been 15 years since we talked. <laughs> Something terrible has happened. Or maybe not. Yeah, he's like, never mind. Whatever, I have to talk to you no matter what, it's urgent. Right. Have you seen this morning's paper, Frank? <gasps> Apparently this 80-year-old grandmother was watching your screw. And it killed her. She just keeled over. It scared her to death. Yeah, I can see that happening a lot. He doesn't care, so. This is terrific. Yeah, free advertising. You can't buy publicity like this. Typical. Typical Scrooge. You can see her nipples. Can you? I Where? want to see her nipples. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> You can hardly see them nipples. See, and these guys are really looking. <laughs> really looking. <laughs> Who? God, you look different. Is this clear? You, you sounded like you'd seen a ghost. He has, and he's about to see three more. Oh, I'm excited to see what the scary one looks like. The, the Christmas future. I know that voice. That was the frightened Lumpy I heard. Lumpy? Why is he called Lumpy? You little worm. Huh? Who are you? <gasps> How'd you get in here? Why are you being so mean? This is my little boy. All right, you beat him. I would strangle him with his own tie. Why are you so angry? Why haven't you ever learned how to button a coat? What a bell end. <laughs> What a shambles. <laughs> Bloody hell. Ah. What just happened? What just happened? When, uh... <laughs> 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 I 
I mean, even if you saw an eyeball in your glass, you wouldn't behave like that. That's not how you'd react. You'd say, excuse me, sir, there appears to be an eyeball in my drink. Whoa! Hey! Hello! Oh, he's going to be your first one. The driver. The past's actually the most interesting part, because then you get to see how shitty they've been. I'm the ghost. <laughs> Aha! So I think we've seen him before. Oh my god! This is where I grew up. Let's get this over with. Let's see why you turned out the way you did. Daddy, I have Santa for choo-choo. Did I go out and get a job and buy a choo-choo? A choo-choo train would have been cheaper. All day long, I listen to people give excuses why they can't work. My back hurts. Oh, you're a butcher. Okay, got it. If you don't watch too much TV, it's bad for your eyes. Okay, mommy. Okay, so your dad being a dickhead's obviously the start of it. Aww. He's starting to show his emotions quite early. I was a baseball player. One year I hit the home run that won the big game. That was the kid on the courtship of Eddie's father. A movie that I've not seen. That I was running down a hillside that was covered with flowers and there was a beautiful girl, like 15. That was the little house on the prairie. <sighs> Are all your memories movies and TV shows? Garden slugs got more out of life than you did. Aww. <laughs> Name one. Name one. Take me to my office. Gladly. Oh, is that it? I thought you'd see more. Where are we? It's your office. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I thought he was taking him back. You wanna go get some Chinese food? They found out that they're cutting up the alley cans and using the chop suey. Don't eat that stuff. <laughs> Still delicious. Oh, oh! <laughs> His laugh. <laughs> Thanks, Lumpy. Thank you. She's got a gorgeous smile. Lumpy. That's why it's called Lumpy. Do you shop here all the time? Because <laughs> if you don't, I can walk on the other side of the street. Rum -pum -pum. What? Excuse me? What does rum pum pum mean? You can open one on Christmas Eve. That's what we always did in my family. Isn't that what you did? Well, uh, if it were going to spoil, we opened it the night before. <laughs> was it always meat? <laughs> to be fair, I would love meat. <laughs> the more the better. I like my meat. Oh, knives. Knives? Knives? That's a crappy gift. Her one's going to be so thoughtful. Her one's going to be the best gift ever, ever, and then he's going to feel so bad. Oh. I, I, I didn't need any kind of manual. I, I want you to know that. <laughs> well, she obviously got it for a reason. Did it? Yeah. Done this? <laughs> Wait, I can't see them. Let me see. I wonder if you're female. Let's turn her over and find out. Hey! Oh, what a... No Aww, he was happy. What went wrong? What's going on here? Is that him in there? Now your wife's in Palm Springs. Well, I guess then uh, it'll be you and me. <laughs> the president of the network just invited us to dinner. Oh, no, we can't tonight. We're going to uh, David and Kate's for dinner. So that's what went wrong. He chose his work over her. Of course he did. Maybe we should separate for a while. I know you've been under a lot of pressure. Well, it's been rough. He doesn't care about her enough. All right, I'll try to come over later if I can. He won't come over. Maybe we'll just check things out over there at Operation Reach Out. Pick a side, Grandma. Pick a side, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love him. That chick sure knows how to live. <laughs> Why do you keep calling me Dick? I'm sorry, Mr. Burton. Maybe we don't know you well enough. Dick Burton. Leave me alone. <gasps> do you see a pleasure for me? Please, yeah. Please do it. Who do they think he is? I am all kind of nobody coming at me. Is he one, oh, in, in the, is one of them the ghost? Are you talking about regret? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about regret. <laughs> Why is she going to take him back so easy? It's been a long time. She must be desperate. Call them myself. I'll call them. You don't have to second. call them. These are big girls, very big girls, and they can do it. Hey. They're volunteers. They're here out of the kindness of their heart. They're volunteers because no one will pay them. They are incompetent. Why have you not changed yet? One minute. I just got to make the phone call. No, just, don't bother. <gasps> wait, if you just wait one minute. Take the rest of your life. Why is he so bloody rude? Give you some advice, Claire. Scrape them off. 
Oh, well, that's a wonderful attitude to have on Christmas Eve. Yeah, see, why, would you, why were you so desperate to take him back? This is the last dress rehearsal, so let's get it right. Pumping, jumping, pumping. Wow, their asses are right out. Man, baby, how are you? God, we were so worried about you. Were you? It's sick, what? huh? What? You all right? Listen, I called What the hell is this start. man? He's so bad. He's so good. Got something to say to you. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> I would knock him out. Talk, Bryce. Frank, I'd love Bryce. to. You know, Preston asked me to stop by for a drink. Stop massaging him. Stop touching him. I would kick your ass. Hey. Here goes the next one. Hi, Frank. Come on out and play with me. Come out and play with me. I feel quite frustrated watching this movie. What the hell was that for? <laughs> Why did you do that? Sometimes you have to slap them in the face just to get their attention. He already had his attention. Harlem! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what a crazy lady. If you touch me again! What are you going to do? I'm going to rip your goddamn wings off, okay? Oh, I like the rough stuff, don't you think? <laughs> it's kinky. Hi! Why does he not talk? Did it say? He's so bloody cute. Oh, here. Hi, girls. What a lovely I'm house. Gonna... Very festive, all full of love. Oh, oh, wow. He's a bright little guy. Yeah. What's wrong with him? He hasn't spoken since he saw his father killed. Killed? What? Ah. I'll check my records. She made me do for a raise. Not just a raise. She needs a raise, a bonus, a free Christmas tree every year, and respect. <laughs> I don't like her. Her voice is giving me a sore head. In the Adams family, what musical instrument did Lurch play? Organ. Yeah, okay, okay, we're going to say piano. Yeah. piano? Yeah. Yeah. Harpsichord. A harpsichord. A what? A harpsichord? The hell's a harpsichord? I forgot to open your brother's present. Oh, what did he get for last year? A shower curtain. <laughs> a shower curtain. A shower curtain. Are you for real? And every year he's too busy to come. And when are you gonna learn? Never. He's he's my brother. Yeah. Never give up. Cause if people are behaving like that, there's a reason for it. <laughs> oh, the bitch hit me with a toaster. The bitch hit me with a toaster. <clears throat> She's very irritating. Future. Who's gonna be your future guy? W what? Herman! Coffee's on me! Come here! I think he's frozen. Happy ending here, Herm. Come on, man. He's frozen with a big smile on his face. Why didn't you stay in Claire's? Why didn't you stay with Claire? You'd be a prettier colour, I'll tell you that! A prettier colour? <laughs> What a shame. That would be a horrible way to die. Like it's gone a bit mental, guys. Yeah, What's your future going to show? Because, whoa. Oh God, oh God. It's the one for the movie. I know what you came for. Come and get it, you pussy. Bryce. He said a really bad word. Oh, wow. I love that. To Frank, the best brother a guy ever had. Best brother? It's a bit of a stretch. Oh, no. Wow, he's scary. <laughs> That's creepy. Oh, rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about my day. I got fired. My wife left me. Your wife left you? What a dick of a wife. Ever since then, I've been blind, stinking, <laughs> I really like his voice. I'm having a much worse day than you are. Much worse, really. Not really. And you brought it all on yourself. All he did was tell you that your advert was shit. And it was the truth. Aren't you supposed to be in the studio? We're on the air. No, hey, he's a different one. Up, big man. That may work. He's even better. Look at him. May I? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what 
dear lord. Did our people do that? <laughs> We're gonna get phone calls. <laughs> hey, you! Beat it! Will you look at that? Look at those filthy little creatures. Oh. Immediately. Oh. Why is she turned like that? Finally, thank God, a friend of mine said to me, scrape them off, Claire. Oh, no way. That would never happen. That was a lousy thing to do. Well, you did it. Oh, no. James, my brother, is dead. No, I think it's you. Well, there he is, James! <laughs> he has a moustache now. Oh, that don't hurt me, James. How old were you and how did you die? That would be worst nightmare ever. I'm alive! That would scare anyone into being a good person. I'm alive! Not for long. Not for long. <laughs> Give him a kiss. There you go. On the lips. I'm gonna start with you. Yay! <laughs> I was looking for a Francis Xavier Cross. That's me, but the great thing. <laughs> it's me. Has he really changed or will he change for like a minute and then go back again? Merry Christmas! Are you alone in there? <laughs> Are you alone in there? <laughs> That's Frank Cross. Uh, I am. Frank is he supposed Cross. to be in the show? I am the president nope. of the IC. <laughs> With me in the booth is Elliot Lottermilk. Elliot, how are we doing up there? Wonderful. But um, I don't think you're gonna be president tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be president tomorrow. Bryce Cummings is the idiot, really sir. But he can't talk to you right now because uh, he's tied up. Uh huh. Uh huh. You are a flatulating butthead? <laughs> I worry about a man before, but he really liked you in a certain way. I, <laughs> I don't hear any partying in that boat, Elliot. Great! <laughs> now that was just an innocent window, and you saw what I did to that. An innocent window? <laughs> I love this guy. She's just upholding the law. It's a federal law, actually. It's not just a state thing. Oh, what about Claire? Oh. What about Claire? I'd be pissed. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. There is a girl that I wish I were with tonight. It's a girl that I, I loved a long time ago. And still love? A girl that I still love. Yeah. We should be taping this. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't know it was going to be good till it got good. If you believe in this spirit thing, you, you the miracle will He's going to talk. He's going to say something. Have a Merry Christmas. Everybody. Oh, oh, talk. Talk. Say something. Did I forget something, big man? God blesses everyone. Yay! Very good, very good. Clear the whole world. Whole world clear. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs> He's just a presumed that the whole world's watching. He could have like 10 viewers. What's he see? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> he was definitely the best part of the movie. The ending could be the best part of the whole movie. My brother, the king of Christmas. The king of Christmas? No way, man. Well. I, I didn't love it, love it. Okay, it wasn't it wasn't terrible. It wasn't amazing. It was like an average. It was an average movie and it had like very, very funny parts. And that guy with the funny voice was like the best, the best in the whole movie. I feel like it was rushed, but dragged at the same time. So yeah, it definitely wasn't in the same level as Gremlins. Gremlins was way, 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 way up here and the Scrooge was way, way, way down beneath the floor. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It just wasn't that good. I think I would far rather have watched a, another version of The Christmas Carol because I really like them. Um, but I've only see, I only saw the one that I watched last year and the... Um, the Muppets one. I think that's the only two I've seen. That's bad. But yeah, I probably 
would have rather watched one of those. But it's fine. It was a Christmas movie. I feel very Christmassy. It's it's not it's not it's not made me mad or sad or upset. I'm still fine. <laughs> I'm still Christmassy and I'm still happy and I'm still in a very, very good mood. Groundhog Day was better. <laughs> Oh, tell me movies that that guy with the funny voice has been in because I will watch them like tomorrow. He's who I'm here for. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like I have anything else to say about it. I just I don't think I'll be in a rush to watch it again, but I won't be mad if it's if someone puts it on and it's like there in the background. <laughs> Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe. Also, check out Patreon and do all that fun stuff to help the channel grow and I will love you forever. And it's Christmas! It's Christmas! And I'm so happy because everyone knows this is my favourite time of the year. I hope no one is being a Scrooge. And if you are, then... I mean, no, I don't actually. I was going to say I hope that the ghosts come and visit you, but I wouldn't wish that on anyone, even if you are being like a proper Scrooge, because um, eventually, eventually something will change your mind and you will be happy and everyone needs to be happy because it's Christmas. And that is the, my wise words for today. Just be happy. Right, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a very, very, very Merry Christmas and doing lots of festivities in the holidays. <laughs> I don't know what these words are that are coming out of my mouth. I'm just very excited and I'm very, very happy person. Okay, I'm going. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mwah.